Hi, Angela Arnold here, and we're going to go into uh, the last few Weebly tutorials. I'm going to mention a couple of things that I have not used, but which are available to Weebly customers. The first thing is Nabble forums. I don't have any forums on my website. I'm just actually getting started with some of these things, and um, not very technologically uh, proficient at this point. And I don't really have a need for forums on my website. I think once you're generating a lot of traffic, then you can consider whether you want to put a forum up or not. But for uh, somebody who's just starting out or recently starting out, and unless you have a lot of traffic, a forum is not the thing for you. There are very few things that are lonelier than a forum that's not frequented by any visitors. And you certainly don't want people visiting your website to see you've got a forum and you haven't had any forum posts in a month and, and nobody visits and nobody asks questions. A forum is a place where you want to have some active participants. So until you start generating the type of uh, traffic that would justify that, I think you can leave the forums element alone. There's also a, a form here which is called Bookings Online or Book Online, Online Bookings. And I think that's a tremendous asset that you can use on your web page. Basically what it permits you to do, I'll drag and drop it and just start the first part of it so you can see what it's about. Basically what you can do is permit people to schedule appointments with you. Um, and you don't have to play telephone tag, you don't have to go into email, email purgatory for emailing back and forth and trying to connect. You tell BookFresh the times that you have available for consultation, for uh, contact and that type of thing, and they make those times known to people who want to contact you. And when they contact you, they'll say, hey, you're uh, somebody who wants to visit you says, um, this person is available on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 2 p.m. to 2.30. Um, if you want that time slot, they just fill in their information and they'll email you so you can know who wants to see you and when they want to see you. So it's just like setting up an online appointment. You say when you're available, the people who are interested in visiting with you online fill in the time slot that they want to talk with you and then they connect with you. So I think it's an excellent system. I just have not uh, had the need for using it just yet, but it's one of the things I probably will plan to do shortly. There's another excellent um, application that works very well with Weebly and it works very well with other websites. I'm going to delete this form so it's not going to remain there. But basically what I want to show you is a website called Scribd. And it's S is in Samuel, C is in Charlie, R is in Romeo, I, B is in Boy, D is in David, dot com. And at that website, you can upload your documents. You can upload Word docs. You can upload um, pretty much any kind of print format. You can upload PDF files. And then you can embed them on your website, or you can let people go to Scribd.com to read them. And I'm going to show you an example of how I use that on my Weebly website. Let's click on my testimonials page. Okay, these are testimonials I have received from people who I have performed work or services for. And they were kind enough to render testimonials to me. Now, there are several pages, as you can see from the document, I have 12 pages of testimonials. Um, they are very difficult to upload uh, in the sense of would I have to have a real long page for people to scroll down indefinitely? Um, I don't think I like that too much. But I uploaded my form to Scribd.com. They created this format for me. And they gave me, they either give you a URL or an embed code that you can put on your website, similar to the embed codes you use with the um, videos that you use. So here, here are my Scribd uh, testimonials, and people can just go up and down the website and see what the people have to say. And so I think it's an excellent way to use technology. So if you have a lengthy document, 
or if you have something that you think would read better on your website in uh, this form, you use script.com and then just embed it to your website. So I'm going to go to my website so you can see what it actually looks like. Hold on here. Okay, I'm going to go to my website. I'm going to click on testimonials. And here you go. You see it right here. Um, college admissions testimonials. The script icon is right here. Um, you can embed this. You can email it to a friend. You can get the embed codes right here and put them into your custom MLM. Um, you can print it. You can view it in different formats. You can upload different things to script. So it's great. Um, you can uh, zoom in, zoom out. Um, so basically what I have here is I'm going to go down pages. You can see that's page one, page two. You can see all of the testimonials here, page three, page four. I just like it. It's really elegant. And to me, it's a little bit simpler than just having the download button there. Uh, I like it a little bit better. I mean, a lot better, actually. So anyway, I wanted to let you see that. Now, there were people who contacted me who want to have a little bit more information about how to upload their header graphics, and that's what I will cover in the next tutorial. So stick with me. I'll see you next time on the other side with information on how to upload header graphics to Weebly. Take care.